The Syrian town of Jindiriz. According to the White Helmets, 513 people died here in Monday's earthquake. The first aid from Europe is only now getting through to this area of northwestern Syria. In Turkey, rescuers are still finding people alive almost a week after the 100,000 square kilometre area was hit by the earthquake. If we could get an even wider shot, you would see even more destruction. All around us, there are totally destroyed or partially destroyed buildings. We are in the very centre of Antakya in southern Turkey, and this city has been severely damaged by the two earthquakes that hit this region last Monday. And despite the fact there's been almost a week, over the last few hours, several people have been rescued alive from under these buildings. And so right now, rescue teams are trying to do just that. They're trying to rescue one more person. I've been asking them if they're holding on okay, if they're not too tired. They say they are not. They are doing this because of their faith and because of their love for their country. Some 13 million people have been affected by this earthquake, and this is a massive search and rescue operation. The area affected is larger than many European countries, and despite that, the government says it is doing everything in its power to coordinate all these different countries that are here on the ground trying to lend a helping hand. Right now, the situation remains very, very chaotic. As you can see, many roads, many streets are completely blocked, and there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of people still under the rubble. Annelies Borges in Antakya, southern Turkey, for Euronews.